Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video we're going to talk about camera mounts. Anyone who has any experience with 3D printing is probably wondering, well, how could you print this piece without any support? You can see that this has pretty large overhangs everywhere. Um, not only can you not print that because there's overhangs just on this little lip here, but this overhangs this edge here and these supports here they overhang the entire unit like that. So even if you, and because of this lip here, everything is overhanging. So these, these, no matter how you slice it, these are going to be overhanging. And, and if you have it this oriented right side up or upside down, either way, you're going to have really large overhangs on all of this. But yet I was able to print this without any support material. So I was just so happy when I finally learned this uh, this technique for printing and I wanted to share it with you today. So some of you uh, who have some experience with 3D printing may have already figured out how I accomplished this, but if you look really closely, there's a little tab there and there's also some layer lines right here in the middle. But, and if I get a different version of this, you might be able to see even better what I did to print this. The gist of the idea of doing this method is that you uh, print everything that will overhang separately. So you can see that I printed this disc and you can see that that would print pretty easily on the, the printer bed. There are no overhangs on that. You can print that piece. And the same with those supports. You can print those separately on the print bed by orienting it in this direction and then you print that. Then what you do is you print the outer shell of what you're trying to print. And then you can actually tell the bamboo slicer to pause at a certain point in the printing process so that you can insert these parts onto the printer and print right over them. So you can see how that works here. Um, it starts printing from the bottom up. We pause it when it gets to the top of this tab here. Then we insert this pre-printed piece onto that. You continue the print and print to the top of where that tab would be. Then you insert the next part these support pieces. And again, those would sit down on top of the part that you've printed. And you continue the print again and print the rest. I printed these in a way so that there are three tabs on this that are oriented in such a way they can only be placed in the print in one direction. It's interesting because the printer will actually just now print on top of these tabs that are now overhanging. And it works really, really well. It got me thinking about all the different things that I could print like this. And it's interesting that you can print many things without support and wasted plastic. And it actually prints a lot faster because you print those lower pieces all in a few layers. And then this outer layer here is very thin. Once you get done printing, all of these pieces are actually melted together and they act as one piece. And when the process is complete, you get a part that looks like it could have been injection molded. The finished part actually ends up having threaded inserts in it. And you can use this as the final camera mount by placing some screws down through these holes. You can actually hold on to the camera uh, like this. And this is sized correctly so that it will attach directly to the bottom of the coin studio. And you can secure it with these supports with a few more M3 bolts. I, I hope you enjoyed learning that new technique. I certainly did and I'm hoping to use it in the future for a lot of things where I think I would normally want to print supports. If you all have ideas about how to stretch this even further, please let me know down in the comments. But for now, that's my two cents. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay awesome.